Hey guys, it's Mrs. Montague here, and I have some really exciting news. So there is an online database called JSTOR. You get to it by typing in jstor.org. That's jstor.org, jstor.org. And it is providing some extended open access content while schools are closed down due to the coronavirus issue. So I've gone to JSTOR here, and if you click or if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that you have open access content right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that open access content, and it will take me to a new web page where I can search the open content on JSTOR. Uh, the JSTOR database is a general database that has a lot of different information that might help you complete assignments for school. And they do have a specific focus on social studies research. So if you've got any upcoming projects for social studies or any of your other classes, JSTOR might be a great place for you to check for free resources that you can use during the time that you're doing research for any projects. Um, the search box is right in the middle, so it's very, very easy for you to search. Um, I just did a project with Mr. Westmoreland on the Middle Ages, so I'm going to actually just go ahead and type in Middle Ages to search JSTOR for their open and free content. So you can see I've got 29,179 search results that are free for me to use right now, which is great. So you can see there's all kinds of relevant information that has come up and I can go through these resources and see what might help me. As you can see next to each source they've got the ability to download the PDF. You can save the um, entry that you're looking at or you can cite it. I'm going to go ahead and click on cite so you can see what happens. So a lot of your teachers will prefer you to cite in MLA format, which is the first format that you see right here. So it's got the format built in, the citation built for you. So all you have to do is copy that citation if you're gonna use it in one of your papers or projects. Other teachers might prefer you to use APA format. And they also have that format right below the MLA format. Again, you can just copy that citation and paste it directly into your paper or presentation to correctly cite the information that you found. All right, when we exit out of the citation option, if I just click on the Christian Middle Ages, the first link here, it will take me to an online viewer where I can see the full chapter that this book is referencing relevant to the Middle Ages. Up here at the top, you still have the option to access the PDF download if you need to get offline access to this item. And now over here on the left, you can cite this item as well. I do want to show you very quickly as well some of the advanced search features. So I typed in Middle Ages, but let's say that I'm doing a project specifically about the Crusades during the Middle Ages. So I'm going to use Boolean search phrases, which are the terms and, or, not, etc., to provide more than one search term for the search to find. So I want to find content that's about not only the Middle Ages, but also about the Crusades. I don't want to find information that is only about the Middle Ages. So I'm going to use the Boolean search phrase and. So I'm going to type in Middle Ages and Crusades. So now when I click enter to search, I have a different list of results. It's narrowed my results to only 906 items because all of these resources are going to at least have a mention of the Crusades within them. So this will help me narrow the search that I'm looking for. On the other hand, you might want to be finding information that is about Middle Ages or the Crusades. If I use the Boolean search phrase or, that will mean that it's going to find any sources that have either Middle Ages or the Crusades mentioned in the resource. So when I click OR, 
Let's wait for it to load. You can now see I have 29,573 search results, which was a little bit more than my initial search that just included the Middle Ages. This is because it's giving me resources that include either Middle Ages or the Crusades or both of those search terms in my search. So, and narrows your search to a more specific field or broadens your search to a wider range. So that is the easy way to search JSTOR that's full of fantastic information that I really think will help you out doing research and keeping up to date with all of your schoolwork while we are closed and doing virtual learning. If you have any questions about how to use JSTOR, please get in touch with me at my email address, which is alyssa, A-L-Y-S-S-A -S -S Montague, M-O-N-T-A-G-U-E, at cherokee.k12.nc.us. Again, that's alyssa.montague at cherokee.k12.nc.us. If you've got any questions about using JSTOR or conducting any other online research while we are in virtual school, please get in touch and I would be happy to help.